yeah. So what about uh, drug reform? Um, leave it to the people? Um, yeah, I, 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 I don't believe that somebody should go to, to jail for smoking a joint or... Um, because some do it at the moment, don't they? So you'd yeah. be in favour of decriminalising. Yeah, I, I would. Yeah, I would. I, I think it would be better to have a. Um, I, I guess my, my my on marijuana issues. I mean, my my stance is more from a health perspective rather yeah. than a kind of a crime perspective. That seems you know, to be so where the debate's going, and a lot of yeah. parties say, yeah, it's a health issue. So let's make it the same as alcohol or something, and make it more. F Freely available in a sense, but um, you know, treated as maybe a bad thing for society. That um, we need a health um, messages and something about it. Is that well? Yeah, I think uh, I, you know, I think we need to look at it. A bit, uh, I mean, Richie Poulton here, for example, mm -hmm. here doing the, the uh, longitudinal study um, has done some very interesting work on people who have a particular genetic um, uh, sort of. A, Issue were around smoking a lot of smoking a lot of dope, but it actually does make increase bipolar problems. So we've got to we've got to think that through and how and how we would regulate it or how what we would do if uh, if we were to go down that decriminalisation route. Okay. Um, now, what about law and order? Um, how's this government doing on law and order? Well, I mean, three strikes. I mean, for God's sake, you know. I mean, this is the sort of stuff that comes out of the sort of the south of the. Of the I mean, this is a this is a yeah. you know, coppin for for act. I mean, at the bottom line with law and order, if you, if you, you know, is 50% is of our prison population is functionally illiterate. 80% mm. um, of them came in on alcohol and drugs issues. So some alcohol and drugs mm. rehabilitation in prisons is, 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 mm. is a good thing. But it's, um, but I actually think that the, that the issue is, and, and there are some criminals, and people would say 10, maybe 20%, are hardcore, whatever, they're going to have to go away and they have to stay there because they okay. commit 90% of our crimes. But you'd like to see imprisonment rates come down? Yeah, I, I, I don't, I, we've got the second, second highest in the OECD. Yeah. I think that is a, an appalling mm. uh, record. Well, um, I mean, and, our, and recidivism rates mm. are, are astronomically high. I mean, the, I, I, don't, I, I, I used mm. to know them, 65, 70%. After two, after two years, I mean... But we can't blame all this on the National Party, can we? Because the last <laughs> Labour government... Well, can't, can't we? we? <laughs> <laughs> right. But didn't you guys double the imprisonment rate over the... Your well, I, 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 the, you, we, we, we've got to be a bit careful. That, I mean, I think there's a... I, my sense is, when I talk to people, that there's a turning um, around that is against the sort of the, the, the way that sensible sentencing would yeah. like to go. Whereas people are saying, 90,000 bucks to keep somebody yeah. in, in jail, that's a complete and utter waste of money. Um, and locking them away for longer so that their recidivism rate is higher when they yeah. come out I think is, you're right. is, a, is, a dumb, is a dumb thing to do. But, you know? but are Labour and National just following the crowd on this? Or, I mean, you don't seem to be at the front of turning that debate around. Oh, I think th th we've got, th th there's definitely an issue around um, short-term prevention, so long as the long-term um, other issues are, are, are addressed. And I think what happens is that a lot of the media and what the attention focuses on the, the number of police on our street, which I think is you know, it's an important issue. Um, but and then some of the other issues that we've got are, are sort of a longer-term um, sort of issues as well. OK, we've got a question from the floor. Mark uh, Curry at the front. This is about education. I understand your tertiary education, is it? Yes. Yeah. I remember reading your policy around student allowances and thinking it was sort of airy-fairy, might do this, might do that. Mm. What, do you still want to have universal student allowances, or is that uh, just that, sort of...? I mean, that would be... I mean, we've said that right... I mean, I guess um, right from the... From the uh, sort of the word go, I suppose, that the, the, the ultimate possibility of having universal student allowance would be the desirable thing. But right now, um, we're, not, we're, we're just not going to be close to being able to do that. We just simply can't afford it. Yeah, yeah. So, it's, uh, so what we've said uh, uh, around it is, um, yeah, uh, cap, on, cap on, on, on fees, um, keeping the interest, obviously, off. Um, and then looking as, as time goes on of, of being able to sort of be a bit more, um, a bit more flexible. But it's, it's it, it, I mean, the tertiary policy is, is really a, really a combination of, 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 of sort of three things. One is making sure access. I mean, student allowances, student loans, whatever, is, is really about access to a university. If you're able to go to a university, yeah. you should be able to go no matter what your circumstances. Um, 
It's about keeping the universities, the quality of the universities as, as, as good as we can get. And it's about making sure that our best brains don't flee New Zealand. Okay. And those are the three, three issues. Okay. But I, I sort of wonder, coming up from that, that that maybe is part of the problem with Labour in this election, why you're not getting more traction, is that because you can't give out policies like that, you can't differentiate yourself enough from national. Is that why... Labor well, it's, look, it's, I'll, I'll, be perfect, I'll be perfectly honest. I mean, you know, um, there's, there's a number of things that came up in, in, in the tertiary policy, and I, had to, and I had to really fight our economics team for it. I mean, so, you the, know, at the, at the end of the day, it's... And you, you lost on that one? Um, well, I had, I had to compromise. OK. <laughs> um, but I, what I wanted to do was to make sure that, um, that students uh, weren't <coughs> any more disadvantaged than... than uh, and, 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 and guaranteeing that that interest stayed off. I wanted to make sure that universities at least kept pace with inflation, which, was in, which is in the policy. And I also wanted to look at the, some of the postdoc scholarships okay. that were, were axed by, by the national government, which I thought was a, an, a huge mistake. Okay. 120 postdocs of our best people sure. we, we needed to keep here in New Zealand. Now, I see time's almost up, so we've got a few seconds just for you to make a few final election predictions. What's going to happen to the Greens? Um, I think the Greens are doing, doing doing well. I think they will probably do better than what they did last time. So, uh, but, but, they, but they generally come they generally come down off a off a high and and, and, and they, look they could be yeah it's uh, um, mana or are they just a one trick one MP pony? They're going to be struggling to I mean to get um, oh and I hope Kelvin Davis gets Tito Takaro to be honest with you I mean he's a terrific guy and uh, he's a mate so and, 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 he, and he's a, as a it'd be a really good MP for Tito Takaro so I mean uh, I mean he's in a, in a very small poll he's behind but mm. nevertheless I think he's got a really good chance. Okay, so the mana could be wiped out. Could be if he if he if, yep. if Kelvin comes in he, they're, they're, they're yep. down the tube. So. Uh, okay, what's going to happen to Act? Um, I think that Epsom, uh, Epsom voters this time are just saying enough. Um, so you think this is, might be it? I, Over think I, I was at a table, the other, and this is just a small group of about 10 to 12 people at a table the other night where, I was, where most of them were for Parnell and, and they just, and these are hardcore blue voters. Uh, um, uh, I was really pleased to be on this table. No, they were, they were very okay. nice people. But, but I actually, they, they all said, look, no, I'm not, we don't want to vote for banks. I mean, actually, what, what, people, have for, what people forgotten at was that Hyde had actually engendered he was a very Personal good a very good constituent MP. Yeah. He actually got out there and did the business. Um, okay. and so now, people voted for him. Now Winston Peters, what's the chances of him being back, do you really think? Oh I think probably thirty five percent. Okay. I would yeah, I don't I wouldn't rule this guy out. Okay. He's, uh, yeah. Any chance that National's gonna get forty eight, fifty percent like they're currently polling? I, I hope not. Um, I think um, I, I look. I, I think there hasn't been a, a party that's got above 50% since 1951. So I think okay. that's. I don't think that's a possibility. But I actually think that people are looking at the at the at, at, at what's happening in terms of parties rather than blocks. Okay. And yep, if you start sure. looking at blocks, then suddenly the gap Good between point. left and right is actually pretty small. Actually. Okay. And your majority? What? It's 10,000. Um, no, not that was in the by-election. I look. If I could maintain my majority, I'd be or improve on it. I'd be really, really happy. I've, Worked incredibly hard. So if it, you oh, I mean, Labour or my. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, um, I beg Albert, your pardon, uh, I was talking uh, about Mount Albert when you were saying. Yeah, you I am, I am. Oh, yep, okay. Yep. So uh, this is the last question. So if um, uh, if your majority goes down, you'll be disappointed. You'll be. You'll Look, it's, it, was a, it was a. It was a. Diff by election is always different yeah, sure. from a general election. So sure. I, it's a bit hard to sort of translate one to the other. Yeah, but proportionally. Um, but I, um, look, I, I, will, I would like to think proportionally. I, I mean, I worked pretty hard in the electorate, so sure. you know, I'd like to think that uh, you know I could stay. You know, the same or better if I could. Yeah. Okay, well thanks David Shearer. That was thank you. Very interesting. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank okay. you very much. Cheers. Cheers.